guys, Mike Murphy here. Happy Financial Literacy Month. This is on behalf of Spearhead Merchant Services, also known as SMS. Uh, most people don't know, but I'm 37 years old. I started my first credit card processing business over half my life ago. So this is something that I find extremely valuable to my empire and should be for yours. Hopefully a lot of this makes sense. Some of it uh, will be new to you. Everybody knows that a financial statement consists of three things, like the triangle of success. So what are those? First thing you have is cash flow statement. You gotta make sure you always have enough cash, right? The second is a balance sheet. A balance sheet is simply putting on a piece of paper what you own versus what you owe, which helps you figure out your net worth. Your net worth is made up of a few things. You have the money you made or that you're worth going into 2022. Then you have the money you've made since 2022 has started. We've got balance sheet, cash flow, and income statement. Your income statement varies by business. In the car business, we close our income statement, our balance sheet, and our cash flow statement every month. So, what is an income statement? So an income statement is simply a formula. The formula is A minus B equals C. Revenue minus expenses equals profit. Now let's take it just another step. Let's say that we sell sandwiches and we sell our sandwiches for $10. Well, if we use average benchmarks and we sell a hundred sandwiches, then we have a thousand dollars in sales. Agreed? The crowd says yes. Well, the average gross profit per sandwich should be 75%. So we would make $750 on a thousand dollars of sales. That's called gross. Everybody's with me, right? Okay, so now you have expenses. Every business has an expense. And you hear in the news that you have inflation that's causing your expenses to go up. You have a war in Ukraine, which is increasing, uh, along with domestic policy, increasing the cost of fuel. So it takes fuel to get anything to you. You have a supply chain shortage from a pandemic. All this is leading to the cost of doing business going up. Your expenses are going up and people are struggling, so you can't charge them more money. That's kind of the quagmire of where we are, correct? So let's say the expenses are usually 80% of your gross. So what's 80% of uh, 750? Probably 600, if I had to guess. Somebody can check me. Um, I'm pretty confident on that though. Um, so if your expenses are $600, you're left making $150 on $1,000 of sales. Everybody's with me, right? So let's go through it again. I sold $1,000 worth of sandwiches, I made 750 because there's bread and cheese and meat, cost of goods sold. My cost of living uh, as a business or my expenses is my rent, my utility, my payroll, all that stuff, which is usually about 80% of our gross. Good companies keep 20% of their gross profit as net income. So in this situation, we've kept $150. Why I like credit card processing is because everybody who's buying my sandwiches with a credit card. So that means that the majority of my expense here, besides meat and cheese and breads, was credit card fees. My credit card fees are usually about 4% of my sales. So if I sold $1,000 in sandwiches, how much did I pay in credit card fees? 40 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. 44%. So of your 25%, that is your cost of goods sold, 4% of it is credit card fees. Here at Spearhead Merchant Services, we believe that because we cannot and should not raise prices during tough times, and because we have some incompetence in leadership and war and a crazy little gremlin in, in Russia, uh, we have a cost of going, doing business going up. We need to pass on the cost of credit card processing through 
novel technology and experience that Spearhead Merchant Services has to the customer. What does that mean? We call it the 4% secret. You can increase your net income by 4% without increasing the cost of your sandwiches by doing business with us. Happy Financial Literacy Month. Murphy out.